All right, so we're going to take a look at an example of a bank account and how to use an exponential equation to help you find a solution for this. It says, if you deposit $2,500 into 2% 2 interest, how long before you have $3,000? Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to do interest that's added once a year. So if you set up an equation for this, what you're going to look at is you're going to see $2,500 is your initial deposit multiplied by 1 plus the rate of 0 0.02, don't forget to move your decimal place, raised to the time. Now, in this problem, you are not given the time. Remember, there are some problems on your test and that were on your quizzes where I will give you the time, you plug in the time, and you take out your calculator and you just type that in and get your answer. This is a little different. This is when I have given you how long before you have $3,000, I'm asking you to solve for t. So what I'm asking you to do is to set this equal to $3,000 and find the value of t. So it's just like these equations that we've looked at before up here, finding the value for the x. It's the same thing. So what I want to do is I want to take this, I want to divide it by 2,500. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2,500. On the right hand side, what that's going to leave me with is 1.02 raised to the t power. On the left hand side, 3000 divided by 2500 is going to give me 6 over 5 as a fraction. Yes, I'm going to leave that as a fraction. Yes, you could get a decimal error that's not too bad. But then what I want to do is I want to do the exact same thing that I did up here. When I had this base raised to this exponent equals this number, I put my logarithmic form using my definition of a logarithm. Same thing here. This base raised to this exponent equals this number using my logarithmic form. Same thing here. This base raised to this exponent equals this number. So I'm going to do the log base 1.02 of 6 fifths equals my t, my time here. So my time is going to be approximately whatever this value of this logarithm is here. Again, that's where the calculator comes in handy because I can use the base on the calculator, base 10 over here, and I can do the log of 6 fifths, sorry, I know it's kind of hard to see there, divided by the log of 1.02. Press enter, and then I get 9.206, or approximately 9.2 years, basically, is what we're looking at here. The problem is, remember that this interest is added once a year, so technically this right here is not going to help me because 0.2 years. I'm actually probably going to have to do 10 years here to actually get my $3,000 in my bank account. If you were adding your interest more than once a year, like we talked about, this right here could change. You could actually have partial years if you were adding the interest more than once a year.